Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Revised K-12 Curriculum Math, Grade 3, Quarter 2, Lesson 1, Day 4 Our topic for today is about measurement and geometry. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning competencies Measure mass in grams, kilograms, and or milligrams using appropriate measuring tools. Estimate mass of an object using grams, kilograms, and or milligrams. And compare masses of objects including the use of a balance scale. Learning Objectives To estimate and measure the mass of objects using standard unit or kilograms using appropriate tools. What standard unit of measure did we study yesterday? Answer we studied about gram as a standard unit of measure. What is the symbol for gram? Answer, the symbol for gram is G. What tool can we use to measure the mass of an object in grams? Answer, we can use a mechanical weighing scale or analog to measure the mass of an object in grams. Our lesson purpose is to estimate and measure the mass of objects in standard units or kilograms using appropriate tools. Today, I am going to put a heavy object, more than 500 grams or at least 1 kilogram on the pan, and observe what happens. Possible answer, the needle did not move. Why the needle did not move? Answer, the object is heavy. The scale is defective. The object is more than 500 grams. The needle did not move because the object we place on the pan is heavier than 500 grams. So, we need to use a weighing scale which can measure heavier objects. This is a mechanical weighing scale or analog, which is commonly used to measure heavy objects. These numbers indicate kilograms. Kilograms are used to measure the mass of heavier objects and kg is the symbol for kilogram. This is called a pan. And it is where you place the object you want to measure. To measure an object's mass in kilograms, you place it in the pan on the top of the scale. What happened to the needle when we put the bag of sand or sugar or rice on the pan? Answer the needle moved. To what number is the needle pointing? Answer. 
Answer, the needle points to 1. Now, look at the weighing scale. What is the mass of the bag of sand or sugar or rice? Answer, it is 1 kilogram. What can you say about a mass of 1 kilogram? Answer, it is heavy. It is heavier than 1 gram. Do you think the mass of the notebook is less than 1 kilogram or more than 1 kilogram? Answer, the notebook is less than 1 kilogram. How many notebooks do you think are equal to 1 kilogram? Which one is heavier, a book or a notebook? Answer, a book is usually heavier than a notebook. How many books do you think will weigh up to 1 kilogram? Place the bag on the weighing scale. What is the mass of the bag? If the needle is not pointing to a whole number, record the nearest whole number to the actual mass. For example, if the scale reads 3 and 3 fourths kilogram, record it as about 4 kilograms. Write the result on the board. Bag 1 weighs about 4 kilograms. Bag 1 weighs about 4 kilograms. Do you feel confident in your abilities to estimate and measure the mass of heavy objects? Reflect on your skills and practice estimation and measurement at home as these skills are useful in many everyday situations. How do we know which one is heavier? If the hanger tips to one side, the object on that side is heavier or we can say that if one side is lower, the object on that side is heavier. Alternatively, we can say that the object on the higher side is lighter. What if the hanger stays balanced? Answer, it means the objects weigh the same or have the same mass. Let's have a group activity part 1. Bring out your show me board per group. I'll show you a box to the class. I'll put some objects inside the box, ensuring that every group can see what is being added. I'll let each group take turns carrying the box to get a sense of its weight. Each group will estimate the mass of the box in kilograms and write your answer on your show me board. Raise your boards to show your answers. Measure the actual mass of the box using a weighing scale. I'll assign a specific target mass 
such as about 3 kilograms. Each group will put objects inside the box so that the total mass of the box and the objects is about 3 kilograms. How was your experience in estimating and measuring the mass in kilograms? Let's have generalization. What standard unit of measure did we study today? Answer, we studied about kilogram as a standard unit of measure. What is the symbol for kilogram? Answer, the symbol for kilogram is kg. What tool can we use to measure the mass of an object in kilograms? Answer, we can use a mechanical weighing scale or analog to measure the mass of an object in kilograms. How do we estimate the mass of an object in kilograms? Answer, we can estimate the mass in kilograms by comparing it to objects with known masses in kilograms, based on your experience. Evaluating learning assessment number four. First part, write the letter corresponding to your estimate of the mass of the given object. Number one, plastic armchair. A, about 10 kilograms. B, about 5 kilograms. Answer, B, about 5 kilograms. Number 2. Plastic table. A. About 10 kilograms. B. About 5 kilograms. Answer. A. About 10 kilograms. Number 3. Small plotted plant. A. About 5 kilograms or B. About 10 kilograms? Answer. A. About 5 kilograms. Part 2. Write the mass of the given objects in kilograms. Number 1. A bag of potatoes. Mass. 4 kilograms. Number 2. A pair of shoes. Mass 2 kilograms. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.